everybody. This is Dr. Ben Morrill. Welcome to episode 18 of Reptile Genetics Weekly. Glad to have you here. I, I plan on this being fairly short, but we have a lot of really cool information for you. So it's going to be packed with, I think, what many of you will find interesting, uh, but be pretty short and sweet. So uh, we uh, are coming up on being a year, our year anniversary of um, doing, I guess, kind of our, our full open. We've been doing just the colubrid sex determination test for a while, but um, October last year at, at Tinley was kind of our, the big, uh, you know, really going all out on this, this business. And so we're coming up on a year for that. So we've been talking a lot about our, our goals and, and things we want to have lined up for our one year anniversary. So so that we are going to get to in this episode, but as always, we'll start off with a, a shed uh, update for results. So those are running right now, the most recent ones, and I should get some data either tomorrow or the next day. So um, we are recording this on Monday this time. So on Thursday would be my guess when we'll start having results rolling out for everyone for this next round. And like we talked about last week, uh, Sean's going to be out of town for a week, and I'm going to focus on developing new tests, um, kind of the, the last step for, for some of the morph tests to make sure they're working well, and then also potentially getting some more sex determination tests for some other species moved forward. So I'll be doing a lot of that. But um, So yeah, the next results will be Thursday of this week, would be most likely when they'll be coming out, as long as there's no problems. <laughs> And then after that, the next round is going to probably be a couple weeks after that because we'll skip a week with Sean being gone and me focused on research. So, so that's where we are with updates. I've got Kayla here. How are you doing today? Hey, I'm doing great. Good to be back. Good, good. And we've, like I said, we've got some some cool things to talk about today. It's going to be information rich. We had to come up with some pictures and things we could add to the slides because there's a lot of text. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. So firstly, we've got some shows that you're going to be at, right, Ben? Yes. Yep. I'm going to leave on Friday to be able to go to the Pomona Reptile Show. So I'll be in the LA area and looking forward to see many of you. Many of you have reached out, said you'll be there. So I'll be at Randy's table, Dark Cloud Reptiles. Um, I don't know for sure if I'll have enough shirts by then. We're, we're trying to get some show only shirts and hats and things like that. But worst yeah. case scenario, what I might do is at the show, I might give you a, a code to message me either on Facebook or Instagram. Um, and then that way I'll know you were there and you do get a show shirt. Because um, they're really yeah. cool designs. We're actually going to show yes. it here in a few minutes. Yeah, we'll show it in just a second. But yeah, we're trying to get it fast enough, but it's it's looking a little slow. So yeah. I might not have enough to be able to sell to you right at the show, but we'll, we will honor people that, that are at the show that come up and say hi and do want to get a shirt or a hat or something um, that's the, the show design, then we will, we will work that out somehow. I'll, I'll, we'll figure that out over the next week. Yeah. yeah, and Sean, and we should have him by the time uh, Daytona rolls around, because Sean's going to be at that one. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, yeah, let's let's check out those designs. Um, the first one is, and this is stuff that Sean has gone out and commissioned. Um, so these are going to be like our 2023 year exclusive merch that you can only get at shows where you walk up to the table and you can get these. So they aren't on the merch store. Um, and this is the back of the shirt, right? Uh, I think, yeah, no, this is the back of the shirt. Um, I'm pretty sure. Um, mm -hmm. And then this is also uh, the back of the shirt, um, which this one might be my favorite, actually. <laughs> uh, it's got a helix. And also, if you look a little closer, it has a ball python uh, silhouette there as well. And on that helix, it points out, you know, like um, just a representation of uh, each of the morphs that we test for right now. Uh, so love this one. That'll be cool. I'd love to see folks rocking this or posting it on social media. Tag us if you get a shirt like this. Um, yes. It's cool. 
Uh, and then the next one is uh, for our, I, I think our lizard keepers. I don't know if we have anything other than lizards on this, but uh, yeah, we've got, this was, this is also the back of the shirt as well. So all of these are like, um, like something cool on the back. And I think the front's just like an RGI loco, like over the, yeah. like the chest or whatever. Yeah, but they're, uh, they're cool. Um, I, I told Sean that even though I won't be at the shows, they, I want one. <laughs> <laughs> You'll come um, to a show so you can, you can earn it, right? Exactly. Lots exactly. Of fun ones you can come to. Awesome. Um, and also this one is available on our merch store, but we like it and we, just because it's charming. Uh, the DNA test results, reptile nerd, you know, confirmed. Uh, so we'll have those as well. Um, and even if you're not at the show, this particular shirt and our regular merch, you can still get on our Teespring, um, which will be in the description of this video, as well as uh, like on our Facebook page. Like you'll, anything that is our official social media, you'll find it there. Yeah. Yeah. What else we got, Ben? <laughs> um, I think we're moving into, oh, that's right. We've got this. This is a really cool announcement. So yeah. Clutch has done the work to uh, make it really easy for people in the UK to send sheds in for genetic testing. So through their software, you're able to order tests and it'll tell you where to send the sheds and then they will make sure that those get to us legally the United States. So you don't have to worry about CITES. That's going to all be worked out uh, by someone that, that's already got that system worked out well for going from the UK to the United States. Yes, and uh, then SWR Shipping, I believe, is the company. Okay. So Yeah. And then they've also almost got it worked out for Japan. And uh, we're also making some of the beginning steps to figure something out for Canada as well. So All right. We're, we're slowly opening up, figuring out how to make it easier and faster and, and even just a possibility for some countries. So we'll, mm -hmm. we'll keep chipping away at it. But yeah, thankfully, Clutch jumped on that and has made it really easy for, for the UK. And hopefully we'll keep making it easier for, for other countries as well. Yeah. Um, and then uh, if you're ordering from somewhere else, uh, Clutch, I believe in your Clutch settings, like in your account, um, if you don't, if we don't have a trans shipper there for clutch, uh, which nobody, but you know, the U UK does so far, um, as of recording, um, you can receive instructions in your clutch account for the appropriate paperwork to ship your samples. Um, so you're, you're not completely in the dark, uh, in the dark here. Um, but it's just kind of a, this is a, a stepping stone, um, in the process. So, yes. So a lot of exciting things happen happening over there at Clutch. So it's Very great to cool. see. Yeah. Um, so next, uh, this is a big one for Ben. Yes. Well, this has been lots and lots of work over the last year, really year and a half. But um, we've been working and trying to get as many ball python morph tests as we could for, for our customers to be able mm -hmm. to help you as keepers and breeders. And... Uh, our goal was to try to have 30 by the time we'd been uh, making the ball python morph tests available. So like mm -hmm. I said in the beginning, that would put us at October Tinley this year, which is you know only a couple months away now. Yeah. Um, so we uh, were still hoping that we could make 30, um, but we just recently after talking, looking at everything we have going on and the focus we're gonna put in these next two months um, we've settled on 36 ball python morphs that we yeah. should have. So, so we'll beat our goal, our original year goal, um, most likely. We still have to do the last bit of work, but why don't you go ahead and show them the list, Kayla? Let's go. <laughs> All right. So this is going to be the full list. So we've got the, the albino ones that you all know about. The new one we'll add to that is Monarch. Mm -hmm. And then we've got Pied and Clown, and then now we'll be able to add Cryptic. And uh, we've got DG, Genetic Stripe, Sunset's a new one um, that we ha got recently. Mm -hmm. And Puzzle is one that we should have by the show. Um, so that one, we've got some work to do. VPI, Xanthic's another one we get to add in the next week or two. Um, so that one and, and uh, 
let's see, cryptic. So those ones, uh, we got some help from our Canadian friends, Heather and Alan. Yeah. Um, TSK Xanthic will be a new one. Um, and then we also have a really cool uh, super secret morph complex that we're going to be able to uh, offer soon. And we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. And then toward the end of the list there, we've got several new ones. Uh, it looks like we'll be able to get Pastel, Orange Dream, Leopard, Confusion, Red Stripe, Banana, Fire, and GHI. So quite a few that are ones that, you know, sometimes in a multi-gene animal, it's kind of hard. Like I have some some combos that I think have GHI in them, but I'm not totally sure. And obviously Super OD, OD, and whether it's a leopard or a super leopard, you know, there's several questions. Red Stripe, I think that one's going to be really helpful. So a lot of really yeah. cool, cool ones that will be coming out. Um, one thing uh, before we go to the next slide, I just wanted mm -hmm. to mention that is going to be a little different since it's going to be 36. We mentioned once we get to like 25 to 30, we might start breaking up the panels. We've talked about this on the last couple of lives that that's likely what we would do. So at 36, we definitely are going to need to break up the panels. Um, so if if you are thinking that you would like to pay the the price that they're at right now to get the the panel that's available right now, um, I would jump on it and do that because things are going to change a little bit in October. Um, it'll be better in some ways, but um, potentially for the specific morphs you're interested in, maybe it would be a little bit you know more complicated for you to get out everything that you want. So. If you know you have animals that you want the the panel as it is right now, um, getting the, those panels paid for and sheds on the way as soon as you can will help make sure that you get that like that. Um, so what would change in October is um, potentially if you want two or three morphs that are going to be on different panels, um, you may have to pay for multiple panels, which they're not going to be the same price. They're going to be a lower price than what we have right now. Um, when we have the genomic registry available you'll get all 36 and that we're going to try to keep as close to the 120 dollars price it will probably be a little higher than that but we're going to keep it pretty close to that um so you know you'll still be able to get that whole panel but the thing is doing that genomic registry takes time so that will be definitely more like a five week wait whereas the other panels will be like what we're doing now should be in the around three week wait time. Um, so, so if you want the panel panel as it is now and results back in more like a three week period and you want to jump on that because it is going to change, but don't worry if you do want like every single morph we've got, that's still going to be available. And it, like I said, it might be a little more expensive, but not much more. We're going to try to keep that as close to $120 as we can. And so, you'll be able to have access to a whole bunch more morph tests and the price isn't going to change very much. And then if you're only interested in one or two, we'll still have those, you know, single gene, two gene prices. And then we'll have like a single panel price, a double panel price. And that I think the panels are going to end up having like five or six mutations on them each. So, so I think that'll help a lot of people. A lot of people I think are mostly interested in one, two, three, maybe four different mutations. Um, so being able to do single gene, two gene or single panel, two panel, I think we'll, we'll cover and help most people out. So, so that's okay. what we're aiming for. And if you want everything, and if you want the ability to have any new tests, be able to have that run on, on that animal without having to send in another shed, then the genomic registry is it. Whenever that shed gets to us, it'll get run for every test that we have and you'll get, um, sex determination as well. So you'll get male, female, you'll get 36 different morphs starting in October at least. And then, like I said, each time we add another morph, you can have the option to, to pay another small fee. And then we'll, we'll reanalyze that data that's already there. And uh, that way you don't have to send another shed in, which is a question we get all the time. You know, do I have to, you have a new test? My, my snake might have that. Do I have to send another shed? Well, the answer is after we start doing the genomic registry, you won't have to send in the shed anymore. We'll just reanalyze your data. There you go. That's awesome. Yeah. So which ones are we expecting like the soonest? I think we talked about this last week, right? Yeah. So the three that we're looking at the soonest, we have the two um, that we uh, got the help from Heather and Alan on. Um, so we've got TS or the, yeah, VPI Azanthic 
and cryptic yep. and then red stripe is one that we got so we'll have those three um i likely will be able to get all the information i need to to feel comfortable that they're ready to go like yep. i've said multiple times i want to run at least 100 and make sure that that the test is correct on that 100 so we have that over 99 percent guarantee um so i i should have that um within the next couple of weeks and so we'll hopefully have that listed with our vendors, you know, somewhere in that time frame, two to three weeks, easily before Tinley. And then, like I said, a bunch of those others will come pretty quick after that. All right. Uh, let's see. So, oh yeah, and there's another uh, special thanks to Alan and Heather. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So, what about these guys? All right, so for these ones, Ultramel, we are going to be able to test for both mutations, it looks like. Um, I just need to validate that. I have I have everything I need for it. Mm -hmm. I just need to make sure it works properly on enough uh, samples. And then we have a super secret morph complex where mm -hmm. we have at least six different mutations. And this is something that, uh, that Dr. Hannah Sadell and her students are working on. Mm -hmm. And so that's something that we'll be able to have soon. And so we just wanted to mention mention uh, Hannah Seidel and, and her students, the work that they're doing. It's really, really cool. Like I've said before, I would have loved, absolutely loved this when I was a student. They're very lucky to be able to be in a class where they're furthering you know, research. And obviously, I would have been over the moon if it happened to be about reptile genetics. That's even better. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, very cool what she's doing there. And they will have like they're the ones that published all the yellow belly or yeah the yellow belly complex and the albino stuff mm -hmm. uh, so this will be another complex that they'll have uh figured out here pretty quick i think they're most of the way there right now and uh I, i've kind of asked both the eastern michigan group with hannah Sadell and then also heather and alan if they're interested in coming on the show sometime so maybe we'll have some of them come on sometime and talk about doing this work and the, the places they're at in Michigan and Canada and having students interact and things like that. I think those would be some fun stories. That would be really fun. Cause these guys have been like the, they, they've been in the background of basically this whole, almost the whole project with RGI, haven't they? So. Oh yeah. 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 yeah the them. Hannah or uh, Heather and Alan, started doing the piebald work like eight years ago, something like that. If yeah, I that's right. right. Yeah. And we were, that was our, uh, um, that was like our second episode that we did. We talked about that. So yeah, yeah, these are some like real pioneers in the, I guess the morph genetic testing type yeah. of thing. So some, hopefully yeah. someday we're going to get them on there. I'm going to keep pestering Ben until it happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're busy, um, but I, I think we can talk them into it, especially because we keep our shows. We keep our shows pretty short. Some podcasts are, you know, hours long, but we won't oh, yeah. keep them too long. Yeah. Um, and also for those curious, uh, I am going to post the link to uh, Dr. Seidel's website for the Ball Python Genetics Project. So you guys can check it out too, um, see her work. Um, and uh, both, all of these are screen caps from her screenshot, uh, from her, her website. website. Screenshots yeah. from her website. Yeah. Um, so good stuff. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah. So then these are the, the ones highlighted here. These are the ones that we are finishing off um, right now. So Monarch, Puzzle, and TSK Xanthic. I will have data. I just got confirmation today. I'll have it in the next week to 10 days. And then what I need to do is just go through and, and design, order, validate. So I'll be able to do that by Tinley, no problem. And then the awesome. others on the right, um, mm -hmm. I've already got data on those and I just need to like red stripe super close, but the others there should be able to get here pretty quick as well. So it's all coming real fast now. Yeah, no, uh, way faster than I expected. Uh, <laughs> it looks like my camera decided to cut out, but eh, it's fine. We'll keep going. Um, yeah, well, <laughs> I think, I think we've uh, said about what, well, I guess we've got a couple more slides, but we're, we're close anyway. Yeah, we're almost there. Um, so next, uh, we've got some other tests that are not from the ball Python tests. Yeah. Uh, so we'll yep. be uh, filling out some more sex determination. Uh, so we've had colubrids and ball pythons for a while. 
Um, mm -hmm. I'm getting a whole bunch in that about week to 10 days, I'm getting a whole bunch of green tree Python data. So I know many of you uh, that watch the show keep asking for updates on the green tree Python sex determination test. And we've, we've done our part all that we could, and we've been waiting to get data back and that data should come in the next week to 10 days. And so yeah, um, that's, that's our GI's holy grail. <laughs> That's our Eleanor, for those of you that watched Gone in 60 Seconds. That's the yeah. one we keep trying for over and over again and keep failing. But we've got a mountain of, of data coming, uh, much, much more than we've you know, paid for, gathered and paid for before. So if we're ever going to get it, this would be the time. Yeah. And we might get a couple other Python species. We might get a couple boa species. I, I don't know for sure if those will be by Tinley, but those are fairly close too. And, some of the other species that other people have asked about that we're interested in, I'm still working on, but not super close, like blue tongue skinks and heloderma. Not, not quite there yet. Monitor lizards. Those are all ones that that we're interested in and could still use um, known sex sheds from those species. But I don't think I'll have those by Tinley. All right. Um, well, that's okay if there's those are maybes because we're still going to have like 36 morph tests as well oh, so yeah, yeah. um yeah, lots going on but yeah, yeah the ball python genomic registry we talked about that um the panther chameleon locale test um i uh, we're very close on that when we get the ball python genomic registry going the panther chameleon locale test is a very similar type of test just obviously the sheds will be from a different species um same with the madagascar boa purity test to be able to tell the ground boas apart from the doom world boas. Um, awesome. So those will fall into place pretty quick. And those of you that are interested in dry mark on will, that's another one that we're working on. I won't have it by Tinley, but we are working on that and we'll have that before too long. And the uh, registry test, that same type of a test, we're able to do paternity, parthenogenesis testing and relatus, relatedness testing. So all of those things are all, all going to be uh, much easier, faster for us to do uh, once we get to the middle of October. That is amazing. Uh, I honestly, coming into recording today, I didn't expect to have this many tests like just over the horizon here. So yeah, uh, really, really great work on your part, Ben, and everybody who's been uh, doing this research with you. Oh yeah, and Sean's figured out how to make all of this get paid for. And those yeah, of Sean. You have, <laughs> those of you that have purchased tests, I promise you, all that money has gone right back into designing more. <laughs> yep. So thank you very much. We, like I said many times, we've hoped this would be helpful to people, and and we're very thankful to see that it has been. Especially this last month, July, we did you know twice as many tests as any other month before. Um, so that's awesome. And, and August is looking like it's going to be at least the similar, if not even higher. So keep on. If there's something we're doing that can be helpful to you, please do order and and we will just keep designing more. Yeah, definitely. And every everybody, as usual, thank you. Thank you for watching. Um, really hope that you uh, have some good questions for us or responses to all of these tests that are just over the hill. Um, so you know, uh, make sure to like, subscribe and comment and uh, follow us on our social media. Um, did I miss anything, Ben? I don't remember. <laughs> Just one more reminder. If you're going to Pomona or Daytona, come find me or come find Sean. Come say hi. Yeah, come see us. All right. Well, that's a wrap for today. And uh, I guess we'll see you guys next time. Thanks Outro. so much. Thanks, y'all. Outro in three, two, one.